20 to 24 hours to cross Lake Superior to get up to Thunder Bay. And uh, as expected, uh, we had uh, substantial ice in uh, Whitefish Bay. It's 100% coverage for this time of the year. And typically it's all fast ice, it hasn't been broken yet, and Coast Guard usually takes the first stab at it, of course. Uh, it's typically, this year we found it to be roughly 18 to 18 inches thick for the main part, other than the leading edge up at Whitefish Point, which uh, usually comes under uh, considerable pressure due to storms through the winter and refrozen brash and accumulated ice. Uh, so there is a band of about uh, two, two and a half miles up at Whitefish Point, which is substantially thicker this year, about six to eight feet, but that's fairly normal uh, for, a, for a normal winter. Uh, we have in more severe conditions seen that words upward of 15 to 20 feet thick, so 6 to 8 isn't too bad. Especially when the sun's shining and uh, you have beautiful scenery up here in uh, Thunder Bay uh, and Lake Superior in itself. There's a lot of areas here that uh, most people don't get to uh, see from this vantage point for certain. And uh, life's pretty good. Um, we work uh, 12 hours a day and uh, during the ice breaking season. Four ten. Well, right now, actually, uh, we're going through a, a phase of we're looking for uh, new recruits and it's easy enough to find out about what jobs are available when you go to the, uh, the Coast Guard uh, website itself. There'll be an area for, uh, for looking for jobs, but we're looking for jobs in all three uh, departments and, and within the fleet and also uh, with the radio operators at MCTS. And it's uh, all levels, all positions uh, between the logistics which are uh, stewards and second cooks. And on the deck side, we're looking for deckhands, uh, navigation officers, and in engineering for uh, engine room ratings, assistants, as well as engineers. So it's, there's a lot of opportunities out there for, uh, for everyone.